Dear Aquarius, welcome to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Thursday, February 25th. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. At the heart of your reading, we have the Devil reversed, Two of Pentacles. The Devil you know versus the Devil you don't. This is releasing the Devil you know. Okay. Devil in the Tarot represents self-limiting behaviors. The challenge is taking care of yourself. In every sense of the word, primarily when it comes to your financial prosperity. Okay, so Aquarius has been sticking with a plan or a path that feels safe because it's familiar, although you know that there are a lot of negatives that go along with it. you're currently considering another option. The way that you see this other option is a lot of unknowns. Like, seems promising, but is it worth the risk? Quitting a job to follow your dreams. One example. You're in analysis mode right now. Hanged man as your focus means your full focus is on this situation to the exclusion of nearly everything else in your life. Like you have such single-minded focus right now. It's an important thing, but you're really zeroed in on it. You want to thoroughly understand it with the intention of making a decision. Are you going to go with the devil you know or the devil you don't? In the recent past, it just hasn't been the right time for you to make this shift. Wheel of Fortune, you've been leading up to this. You needed to learn, you needed to grow, you needed to experience more of life. It's happening now because now is the time that you're ready for it. To level up, to receive more from the universe. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Aquarius's environment to support them and nudge them in the right direction? strength. Of course. This is literally the card of spirit supporting you through your weaknesses, supporting you in becoming stronger. Um, it's fortitude and courage and discipline. Taking your weak parts and making them stronger. strong enough to overcome the ways that you've been holding yourself back. In the near future, we have the Four of Swords reversed and the Hierophant reversed. You're going to get some peace of mind about, hmm, about something that was very entrenched in your life, very interwoven in your life.
They're giving the impression of something that touched all areas of your life, like, um, uh, what analogy can I use? Like a, like a tapestry, if your life is a tapestry, it's like a string that wove all throughout the tapestry of your life. Why are you giving me this? Because it's unraveling. Cool. I mean, that connects with letting go of the devil you know, unraveling the tapestry. Not completely. You're you're pulling out the you're pulling out a thread. Something that touched all areas of your life. Um, Hierophant can be a belief system, like um, if it's connected to a sense of spirituality, if it's connected to a religious belief. Can also stand for the release of a marriage. If, you know, if this marriage has impacted all parts of your life and you're still somehow connected to that energy. Yeah, I mean, for some of you, this is um, reconnecting with your life in a way that makes you realize that you need to get a divorce. That's a possibility here. It can also be expectations placed upon you by your family. You might have allowed yourself to hold yourself back in life because of this tapestry of your life. It touches the expectations that your family ingrained in you from childhood and ongoing, perhaps. You've been living by those expectations, at least to a degree. And in order to keep the peace, you've been upholding the, the status quo. You're not keeping the peace anymore. You're, you're, you're taking the peace back for yourself, for your own peace of mind. You're releasing this. You're, you're teasing that thread out of the tapestry of your life. You'll replace it with something new, but you've, you've identified the devil that you'd, you know the piece of your life that's been holding you back and you're you're finessing it out of the tapestry of your life. I think it's painstaking work. That's why they're giving me like it's touched all areas of your life so it's it, it's going to take some time to unravel completely. It'll be like an ongoing process. Your surprise energy, 10 of swords. That's um, being able to release this thing. Once you come to terms and, and decide, okay, devil I know, devil I don't. How does it touch all areas of my life? Okay, this is pulling it out of the tapestry. Being ready to let it go. I don't need it anymore. I don't need to think about it anymore. It doesn't have a hold on me anymore. That paradigm is the old me the old cycle. I'm starting a new cycle now. Show me hopes and fears for Aquarius. Page of Wands reversed. You don't want to hold yourself back from what you want anymore. You don't want to feel bored. You don't want to feel depressed. You don't want to feel a lack of motivation. Those sorts of energies feel like downward spiral, going back to the devil you know sort of energies. You don't want that. The fact that we have a fear showing up here instead of a hope tells me that you're somewhat pessimistic. You don't fully believe in being able to make this shift. So that's something to work on. Because when you project fear onto a situation more than hope, you run the risk of repeating a cycle because you have more lessons to learn.
try to shift to a more hopeful outlook. When you find yourself thinking negative thoughts, I really hope this doesn't happen, try to replace that with, okay, what do I hope happens in its place? Show me. No, really? Okay. Okay. The end result. The whole deck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Justice in reverse. You'll identify the imbalance. When you when you take this thread out of the tapestry, there there's going to be gaps and holes in the in the metaphor <laughs> in the tapestry as well. Um, so you'll you'll identify the imbalance. Tower in reverse. You're going to make it unnecessary for the divine to intervene in this situation because you will handle the releasing of the the self-limiting behavior on your own. You'll make the choice. Two of swords. Temperance. You will accept support from spirit and you will take the... This is a, a portal. Hang with me here. A portal to a higher dimension. Uh, one of the interpretations of temperance is that spirit will open up a window of opportunity for you to ascend. So um, that's integrating the, the third dimensional self with the fifth dimensional self. This is where I see us headed. Seven of Cups reversed. Any emotional confusion is going to fade into the past. And Empress reversed. There's still some work to do in terms of self-esteem, self-worth, um, and recognizing the potential that you have within you. Mm -hmm. they're, they're really resounding with the, the, um, the potential, and they want me to back up and... Untapped potential. Yes, I know. They're, they're just saying you, you still have a long way to go, but they're meaning this in a very hopeful way, in a very like, look at all you have ahead of you. I'm like, I feel like it's it's a bit daunting to say you still have a long way to go. And they're like, no, 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 tell them. Like, you, there's so much more that... that spirit is going to pull out of you <laughs> so much more potential that spirit still has to work on with you so let's see advice how can aquarius work with these energies for their highest and best good the moon okay Don't be afraid to explore deeply. This is something that touches all areas of your life, not just on the surface, but also the depths. You might need to go through another ego death, another dark night of the soul, or if you haven't experienced that yet, good luck. <laughs> it's a very positive experience to go through. It can be very challenging almost always is very challenging to experience and live through. They're also giving me moon rituals. <clears throat> For those of you who are keen to look into uh, full moon rituals, it's coming up. Um, early morning on the 27th, if I'm correct. So that would be like, if you are not up at like 3 a.m., then that, well, depending on what part of the world you're in, your, your time zone is obviously going to differ. Um, it's like evening of the 26th, early morning of the 27th. And again, if you're in like the other side of the world from the U.S., that could, I'm not certain. I think that's going to be a day ahead for you. So, um, New moon is coming up, sorry, full moon is coming up quickly is what I'm getting at. Check when that's happening for you. And the advice is if you're keen to do some full moon rituals, that has to do with completions and release, which 
if you're looking to get rid of the devil you know, that they'd really like for you to, whatever resonates with you, whatever feels right to you, um, exp there, if you Google full moon release ritual or full moon release whatever, um, there, there's a ton of suggestions as to how you can do that. Um, okay, they want me to give a couple of suggestions. You can write something down on a piece of paper and burn it as a um, evidence of what you are releasing. Like, um, the old me used to be afraid to go for my dreams. Fold it up, burn it in a safe way, and then that's like telling the full moon, the closure, the ending of the moon cycle, that you too are going through a closure of a cycle, an ending of a cycle. See the, the corollary, the parallel here? You're ending a cycle, the moon is ending a cycle. That's why people do things like new moon and full moon rituals. Okay, Aquarius, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.